Hi guys, so I'm doing a review on the Redivis RT7. This is a 3 watt, 16 channel uh, handheld transceiver radio. Uh, I believe it's a GMRS and an amateur radio. So you will need a license to operate this. Uh, I actually have a two pack in blue. Uh, it did come with this charging cable and it also came with the free software. Now the software that I got was in Chinese, so I just emailed always online and they emailed me back the programming in English, so that was no issue at all. And what I want to show you today is how to program these radios. So this is the icon on my desktop for the Redivis RT7, so you want to open it up. Uh, you want to take and turn your radio to on. You want to plug in the USB cable into your computer and then into the side of your handheld radio. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when you get into this programming is you want to go to program and you want to read from radio. Now what this is going to do is it's going to pull in all the programming, the 16 channels come pre-programmed. It's going to pull all those 16 channels over and give you the frequencies. This is how I actually figured out uh, what kind of radio this was. It wasn't marked. And that's because channels 1 through 8 were GMRS. And channels 9 through 16 were actually in the amateur band. So, say you, want to, you have a GMRS license and you just want to do GMRS. Well, you can change these all to GMRS. Or say you have your amateur license and you just want to do amateur uh, ham radio uh, channels, you could change these to whatever you want. So say on this first one, you have a friend and he has a radio and he tells you, hey, you know, I'm on 462.225. So you go in and change that. Now the CTC codes, I believe these are for using with repeaters, just whatever he has, make it the same. <laughs> so you would go in and change this channel or you could change all of them however you want to do it. And what you would do is go to program and write this back to the radio. So I've read it from the radio. I've made my changes. Now I'm going to write it back to the radio. And that will change that radio. So if you want to go in here and set this up, say all GMRS, and you want to program all six radios to have the same thing, you would now you would unplug your first radio, plug in your second radio, Go back to programming and click right to radio. One of the things I would do, and I should have went through this first, when you first get it and you click uh, read from radio, I would go in and I would save it as original programming for the radio. That way, if you go in here and you make some changes and something's not working, you always have the original programming. Now that you've made your changes and you've got it set up the way you want, go file and save that. And save it as your updated programming for the Redivis RT7. So it's super easy to program. In here you've got scan functions you can turn on. You've got your squelch level. You've got your Vox function. So it really does quite a bit. It's super easy to do. All you have to do really is use the program. Read it from the radio. Turn around and write it to the radio. It's really super simple. Uh, one of the things I wanted to go over with you is that GMRS, I know that this is a GMRS radio. Uh, I'm looking at the FCC.gov, and one of the things are there's 23 channels. So your radio has 16 slots, so you can choose any of these channels uh, for your GMRS or any of these frequencies. Now, I wasn't sure about the 446 initially, so FCC ID you lets you put in the frequency, and it'll tell you this band is used for amateur radio service. So you do need to have your technician's license if you want to speak on the amateur radio services. Uh, but at least you know when you get your radio what it's pre-programmed for, and you're using the right channels according to what license you have. I'm sure people are going to ask if this is an FRS or a family radio service, which does not require a license. And we'll, it'll let you talk on all those channels and program it. Um, and here's the 14 channels for that. I was reading down here at the bottom, and it does say that FRS transmitters have a maximum power of one half watt. 
This has six times the power of that at three watts. It also says that it has to have a non-detachable antenna, and these actually detach, which is a really great feature because you can actually upgrade the antennas on these to get further coverage. Um, so I do not believe that this is an FRS radio. I do believe it's a GMRS or an amateur radio. You can use it for either one of those. It's really just a great radio. It's a lot of fun. One of the things there, uh, for us is during Hurricane Ike, we were 17 days without power. I have a teenage son, and back then I would have to take uh, go to the creek on the other side of the neighborhood and get water in five-gallon buckets and bring it back in the wagon so that we could you know, flush the toilets and stuff. So one of the reasons why I picked up something like this is not only for camping and hiking, but in an emergency situation, this will let me speak to my son across the neighborhood while he came back to make sure that he is safe. We didn't have cell phones at the time. You know, our communications were down. Uh, we were locked in our neighborhood by flooding. We had no electricity. Um, so once you have these powered up, you're good to go. Anyhow, I just wanted to give you my review, and I think these are great little radios, and you're sure to have a lot of fun with them. So thank you.